first port there. Like, but no one ever like acts on it. Yeah, when I, I played in Japan, like everyone would like pick port first. Yeah. Everyone fought for first port, which was really interesting. Yeah. I mean, first port is pretty good, and like, I think for like comboing people, you usually. Want port four. Yeah, port four. Because you get the extra frame. I, Kurt, I don't think Kurt's much of a tech chaser, but I think just building up the percent to get Falco out of Crash Cancel is like the biggest part of this match. Nice. Oh, spot to be in. Good read. Quick first stock. So Shad really needs to like first get get a grab and follow up on his grabs, so it makes uh, Kurt respect you know the the grab game and like. It starts forcing Kurt to, you know, do things other than just shield a lot. Because a lot of things Falcons don't do is grab a lot. They, you know, they always want to go ham on your shield. West Falls pressure, all that stuff. Yeah, but grab is, like, so good. Yeah, especially a lot of times, like, you, like, throw something on someone's shield, it's like, you could have just grabbed and, yeah. like, done a lot more. Oh my. Yeah, we'll see if Shad, like, throws out more grabs. Extremely important against Sheik. Got rid really high on that jump. Yeah. It feels like they're, they're like there's like a second of neutral interactions and then Kurt gets an opening. Uh, I think it's a lot of uh, Shad just being too aggro right now. Yeah, exactly. He's like, like he dashes laser. back and then just runs right back in. So it's kind of he's kind of got a tempo with how he likes to approach. It's like laser and he likes to shield stop a lot. So it's like laser shield stop. Grab. Laser shield stop jab. Laser, you know, laser, laser shield stop. So he's got to, like, mix in a lot more. That was a good. Oh, cool. Barely yeah. escaped that. Two shot grab. Grab the ledge. Get the up. So he ends up just cornering himself. And that's where the most of the, the fighting's been going on. He's in the corners. Oh, God. Oh, didn't want to fall off there. Sloppy ledge play. I feel like uh, Kirsch has been getting a lot of... I think like every kill has been from a fair. Yeah. On like the side of the stage. That was like completely avoidable. Yeah. Okay. So, like, Shad just gotta work on what he's doing in his punish game. Like, that DI would put him like right there. He could have gotten another shine and put on more percent. He's having a trouble having trouble putting on percent and keeping Kurt off stage. So he got out of the corner that time, but the last couple times jumped over his shield. Yeah. Oh my god, that was the dumbest smart thing I've ever seen in my life. He rolled into the corner. <laughs> Like, Kurt, I mean, Shad has to recognize he's double jumping every time he gets lasered. Or he's, he's full hopping. So, like, I'm throwing in another dash dance. You know, throws off Kurt's timing and makes it easy for Shad. Oh my god. Oh my. He felt it. In what universe? A <laughs> second. He, like, there's a moment where he, like, laser, up tilt, into back air, like, and all three just went and, like, this seems so aggro. What the sh- That was so- Alright. Alright. Uh, Pokemon. I mean, every Sheik hates Pokemon Stadium. So... I feel like every time a player picks it, it's like a tilt factor. <laughs> I know Okami hates Pokemon. So like every time I see him playing Pokemon, he does not look very happy about it. So. Such a great stage. It's actually the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Oh, Just right into it. Ledge. He doesn't go ledge a lot. And just like, he got an air and then he immediately tried to shine after. Where like the percentage and like what was going on didn't really make sense. So like just. I, I think it's just kind of like that's his like game plan. Like, yeah, so he just has to like be. Actively recognize what's going on. Double Ooh, shine. Shop, that was nice. Put himself in a really dangerous position when uh, 
the invincibility was uh, for Kurt. Yeah. To, like, double jump. And Falco, like, the number one rule is just, like, don't double jump in an area someone can hit you. Because yeah. you can just literally die. You know, at whatever percent. It doesn't even have to be high percent. Like, when he's in the corner, he's, like, too eager to be, like, trying to hit Kurt. Like, even when he's just shielding. Like, you're, like, just waiting and, like, trying to react. Like, this... There's not much Kurt can do when he's at like 20% and Kurt's in the corner. Yeah. Especially on Pokemon. Positional pressure is not a lot of thing people think about. It's like keeping him in the corner because Kurt can't do anything is like one of the more powerful things. Then someone throws out a panic option and then you win. Like he just, he just threw out an air and Kurt just rolled it basically. I was like, oh, you can just help like grab. See how he fights this here. Yeah, so it's a little, like he uh, see he gave up the stage. Like yeah. those lasers weren't doing anything yeah. really. And he gave up the stage. Like he saw Kurt roll and then he tried to get out of there and let Kurt have the center of the stage again. There we go. Nice. Like Kurt had like no option there. Like roll away, roll in, like all very reactive. A little slow on his uh, fire stall. Oh, off stage. I think that's okay. Like ending the yeah. combo there, taking the set stage back, and just keeping her in the corner. I, I don't really like the the lasers in close space. They can be very good, but uh, well, especially when he's like when he's really low. I feel like it doesn't get him much yeah. for on the edge guard. Like if he lasers and he's just gonna hit him once and then he just gets back on the same position. Yeah, I would not fight here. Oh my god. Oh, oh that was nice. My. Camp it out. No god. What are you doing? Oh he missed the tech there. See, I think he hit the wall. So now like Kurt really doesn't have to do much now that like he's at high percent and it's hard for Falco to get a kill setup when she's at the percent. A lot of people don't talk about that. Oh, okay, he got hit. But like for Falco, a lot of times when any character did a hard percent, it's kind of like you know Marthritis, where he has to get a strong back air, you know, a dare into another dare, something like that. But those all put him in the air. Yeah, exactly. Which are pretty bad. So like. It's very hard for Falco sometimes to like kill. Just a shine grab. The I O. There you go. Bread and butter. Yeah. And like there he didn't really overextend. Like the combo would have been very hard to continue and he just like was like, okay. Oh, that was a sick up top. Grab ledge. There you go. There we go. This is P. Jeremy. Yeah, that was a sick stock. Didn't overextend, like you know, threw out good moves and and look, now he's just waiting. And like, the onus is not on him to approach. Oh, that was a good edge cancel. Oh, he got the crash cancel, but didn't capitalize on it. I don't think he intended to. I think sometimes, like, just getting out of there after you crash... Oh, that was a sickness. Getting out of there after you crash cancel is good, because sometimes you try to fight after crash cancel, you just get hit. A lot of options can be used defensively as well as offensively, like crash canceling. Like, everyone tries to attack off ledge dashes. Like, oh my god. Four nears. Yeah, like, sometimes just like, ledge dash and like, run away is like, super broken. A roll check. Shark, there you go. He did a good job sharking that time, where he's gonna win. Is it double jump to get away? That's scary. I don't know, like he like takes these like fair like where he trades like fair with back there at like by the top platform and I feel like it's just it's so dangerous. He like took control crazy fast. Then Kurt's getting now Kurt's the one that's like too eager to like attack and do stuff and Chad's the one dictating the pace more. He's getting something small like that. 
no sick. I guess, you know, Shadow is double jumping, like you said, so. Oh, God. Can you get much off, like, jab at, like, sheep being, like, 38%? Not really. Anything jabbing anyone at low percent now is just super dangerous. You know, crouch cancel grab. Oh, why do you double jump there? Okay. Yeah, Shad really brought it together. Yeah. That was really good. The sigh of relief from Shad. 